Welcome to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Good morning, everyone. I'm Owen Hayes. You're watching Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented to you by the one and only Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Today, we're packed. We got a lot going on, but nothing more important than you, the viewer at home. If you want to call us up, it's the viewer hotline. It's 503-548-6777. Seven, seven. Questions, comments, reports, like always, don't be shy. We'd love to hear from you. And if you have questions for any of our guests, which I'll get to here in a second, I promise, feel free to call us up. And if it's a good question, we'll make sure that we can get it to them so we can get that answered here uh, on the show. So don't be uh, scared with that. So I'm going to kind of fly through some of these things. I'm trying to save as much time as possible, as you all know, being the only live interactive fishing and hunting television show ever I need to make adjustments on the fly, right? So we're gonna try to save a little time. So, upcoming segment is our field report. We'll cover river levels and get with Katie and find out what the actual rain is gonna do. We, we kind of gave that up yesterday and not a lot expected. We'll see if there's any changes and if there is, cross your fingers. It's for a lot of rain and a lot of snow, uh, right, Sandy, for a number of different reasons. We need snow uh, and hopefully that'll change, but we'll see when we have a chance to check in with Katie. Uh, first guest in the studio is Charles Lose, the ocean coach. You all know him. We've interviewed him here on the show many times over the years, talking about what, well, what he does. He coaches folks on how to be safe on the saltwater, how to get to the saltwater, number one, and then once you get there, what to do and how to do it the right way. Well, today we're going to talk with Charles about the upcoming saltwater sportsman show that's coming up in just a couple of weeks in Salem. Uh, so make sure that if you are a salty person, if you like to spend your time in the salt water, you got one of them big plastic boats, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, big offshore, Grady White's kind of thing, um, pay attention, because he's going to at least give you some info uh, on why you might want to attend that, some really good seminars. If, if you're brand new at this, right, getting into the salt water, maybe you're trying to make that conversion like a lot of people are, well, it's a great place to be because you're going to learn a ton. Now, if you've done it for many, many years, you might be able to help somebody. Other than that, you're gonna see some of the newest stuff that you can use to be safer or just flat out better uh, when you're out there on the big blue. So Charles Lowe's from uh, the Saltwater Sportsman Show in just a little bit. Then after that, we're gonna have, for the second time, Sandeep Nan. He is the owner of Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Uh, he's the new owner, I should say. We had him in here just a handful of months ago. Uh, talking about that transfer. Today we're going to have a chance to check in with him, find out how things are going, you know, what the changes are, how things are uh, really kind of coming around. Uh, there's been nothing but positive, positive uh, feedback from everybody that we hear from here, uh, and I assume that's probably the same at all their stores. But we're going to have Sandeep here for a little bit. He also brought in his general manager, um, Junior, and y'all know Junior, especially if you spend time running around chasing fish. <laughs> He's usually the guy right below. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I was going to throw it out there, but I didn't. I did. Uh, we're going to check in with him to find out a little bit about what you can expect at the Sportsman Show uh, because he's going to be right in the middle uh, of that endeavor, which is a big one. And uh, it's actually Sandeep's first time uh, with the uh, big Portland Sportsman Show. So that's going to be interesting uh, to see that perspective as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, again, if you have questions for any one of them, you can call us up on that viewer hotline and uh, we will do the best we can to get that question uh, to them. So let's go ahead, Ryan, I'm flying through this, man. Let's go ahead and uh, show the photos that everybody's been sending in. And if we have the time, I'll try to get Dwayne in here uh, before we cut to a break. But here's some great photos. Uh, Brothers Steelhead Trip. This is from Jay. Uh, looks like they were fishing with somebody with a Pavati. It's crazy when you know all these things and you don't know what's really going on. But that's definitely a nice uh, haul of steelhead. Obviously, a coastal river. Two fish limits, uh, everyone. This is how I break photos down, so forgive me. I love this one. This is beautiful. Steven, thanks for sending this in. Crabbing with the girls. Look at the size of those plates that they've got there. Plates, everyone, meaning giant Dungeness crab. Oh. Right now, my wife's at home wishing that we had some. Like, one of her favorite things in the world. But great photo. That's cheating, too, by the way, when you use the kids. Like this one here. Uh, Kenny. Uh, Rhett, I think, I hope I hope I got that right. And Riggs. Uh, looks like they got themselves some widgeons, some mallards. Uh, looks like they had a great day. Oregon Coast. 
I never made it over there this year. Here's another great one. A uh, pair, pair of bands. Oh, I'm going to reach through this TV, and I'm going to smack whoever that is. I got three this year, but it took me all season. That's a pair in hand. That is such a rare photo. I hope whoever that is that's covering his face up uh, puts that on the wall because uh, I've been doing this a long time. I've only been able to do that once or twice, so that's a... Uh, that's a really cool photo. Kyle, thanks for sending it in. Uh, rest, oh, oh man. That's the worst thing about being a dog owner, especially a waterfowl hunter. Um, dogs are temporary. Enjoy your time when you can. Thanks for sending it in. Diesel. Uh, winter chrome, nice one too, by the way. Look at that. You guys want some advice? Look at his hand in the gill of that hatchery fish. Yes, it's a hatchery fish, everyone. Uh, look how small his hand looks. <laughs> That's a good size steelhead. Uh, Gary, thanks for sending that in. That's a dandy. Uh, whoa! Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be so loud. Uh, but look at that. Xander's first steelhead. See, that's what a broodstock program will do for you, everyone. Believe it or not, there's organizations out there that think hatcheries are bad. That's because they make a lot of money when they try to fight against them. Let's just make sure that's clear. Dave, thanks for sending it in. That is just a toad. That is exactly what a brood stock program will do for you. And if you can't tell, that is from the coast where they do have brood stock programs. All right, let's go ahead and cut out. When we come back from this break, we're gonna jump into our report segment. I've got Dwayne from Longview. We're gonna try to get his call in as well. It's a whirlwind, everyone. Stick with us here on Fox 12 Plus for more Outdoor GPS. We'll be back in just a minute. 